So I've never played the game. This is how it is with me in a lot of games, except for newer ones. Never played it, but I've seen people play it. Oh shoot! Now got any subtitles? Ah. City, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle, a quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. <laughs> City of Pioneers. A city of dreamers. century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective and ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Investigate crime scene. Vehicle unlocked. Ford Police Special. One out of 95. What? One out of 95. Is that actually true? Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Whoa. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton. A Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we were. Throw his piece, you say. Let's, uh. Where's audio? I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Can I do. This isn't much of a reference. Hopefully that's good enough. Not too quiet, I hope. Cover the weapon, bag it, and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We got places to be. Happy hunting. Real snob, Lloyd. This is good a person, fist okay. Just going through the motions. Probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. I fist hump you, sign. 
Then that sounds like a dirty journal. Oh my gosh. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. That isn't my job, eh? Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. Okay. X, alright. That's what I wanted to press. I sure, put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey over here. Ah. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. I don't. Oh, okay, that reflection. I was like, kind of confused there. I don't know how big open world this is. I don't think it's really that open the world. Up on the roof, right? so we need to find a way up. Yeah. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Shrink says the mind is the final frontier. Another bottle. Not everything here is going to be ruined. Then why are you looking at it? <laughs> Grab more bottles. It doesn't appear to be connected. What about this one here, I'm saying? It's different than the others. Ah, don't fancy yourself a bottle collector, eh? Look, another bottle here. <laughs> sure makes me thirsty. Climb the pole, say. Yeah. How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? I thought you were Cole. Ah, I didn't know back in the days of. They were supposed to not touch evidence with their own hands. Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. <clears throat> Fully loaded. Two rounds fired. Two, oh, yeah, yeah. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Yeah. I was about to say fully loaded. I should know that it's not. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Wow, <laughs> uh, wow. I thought I saw a putty cat. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout hole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. This isn't what we're looking for. Then why did my controller violate? Scooter Payton. Murder victim shot twice. So this is the guy who was murdered. Suspect tall Caucasian male described by witness. Person of interest. Detective Floyd Rose. Homicidal investigator first on scene of shooting. Yeah, he didn't seem to care that much. <laughs> Let's not abuse our power, eh? Except when we need to get through a traffic jam. <laughs> Why were you breaking out the red light, son? What do you gotta say for yourself? Don't you dare get back in your car, old boy. You gotta be kidding me. We're driving this? We're going to commandeer this Out vehicle, of the car. sir. Police. Hey, what are you doing? You see, we need those barrels to How hide some... Look getting around in this thing, Cole? Uh... <laughs> dead bodies in. To conceal, 
conceal our uh, our mistakes. <clears throat> Open twenty four hours. That's weird. Hey Cole, let's get moving. So what next? Have a word with the owner. He ought to have the guy who bought the weapon registered. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, <laughs> I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies no, are no. only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. Mind if I take a look? My guest. <clears throat> this is about something bad, right? I mean, Magnums are pretty strong, but I don't know what. I don't know. Do I look like the expert here? Press X or swipe left. Yeah, okay. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Hmm, model 27. Nickel. Nope. <laughs> Good luck, Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. That one right Thanks, there, Shane. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. I can't remember where we're going, is it? Ah, yes. This one right here, see? Yeah, that one. That one right there. Schro... Schroeder? Schroeder Errol. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Last Street. Hmm. Okay. Date of order 020446. Serial number 571893. A nice shop you got here, sir. Wait, did I use the range? I doubt it. Damn, it's quiet in here. I mean, they kind of made it, so I'd hope that I could come back and use it. Thank you for your time. Can we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. It's a nice car you got there, sir. LAPD, police emergency. Do this. Why, yes, I can. Don't call the police station and ask where it is. I will, I'll be using it for the next three years. And that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. You just wish you could get your hands on my Boy Scout book, baby. Watch it! We don't want any casualties, Phelps. Schroeder's apartment, 11 p.m. You coming or what? Oh wait, like, oh that kind of gold handle, okay. Apartment number two, eh? Apartment two.
What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Hey, <laughs> you don't punch my partner like that. You ready, tough guy? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. How would you like to kick to the nuts? Hey, mate. Mm. You're just a sucker. You're just a sucker. <laughs> I'm so bad. You're just a sucker, son. Around and hit me. Oh, I should have tried to grapple. Damn. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. Hmm, what's this? <clears throat> Artie Rosenberg, 9446, Summers, Frank Greer, Clayton, Ted Rosie, Kaplan, F. Greer. Is, that, F, is F. Greer and Frank, Frank Greer as the same? I would think so. Leroy Tate. Delbri. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Oh, yeah, it's the investigator, isn't it? Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. <laughs> Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. No. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. Bro hates Boy Scouts. One who was going you in the army or what? Fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, <laughs> Sergeant, but. Excuse me, fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. You can suck our collective balls. <clears throat> Might need to grab some water. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Are we about to shoot up some suckers? 
I cannot say suckers when I try and do that voice. Are we about to shoot up some suckers? Doesn't quite sound right. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh man, alright. Yeah. Weapons on the ground now. Did I get him? I think I got him. Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a chance, a chance to stay down. I did him? I think I got him. Jeez. What is my health at, by That's the way? It? We got them all? I think we got him, Cole. Oh. I didn't know I could do that. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotgun, you're either gonna end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Fair point. Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. It's not entirely true. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped for Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LAPD! Get over here, Bowers. Bowers. Why you? He's hiding in the alley! Bowers, hold it right there! Watch your fire! Jeez. No, 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 why are you doing this to him? No, please. It's because I keep trying to adjust my stick, dude. I just have to hold it up. Give it up, Wendell! He sounds his voice sounds familiar. Maybe not. Oh, you get over here, boy. I've done my time. You assholes already screwed me. Once. It's over, Bowers.
You don't need to instruct men how to do this stuff. It's not like they have to There's press buttons. To go. Go. Damn! Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Close line, my ass. I'll teach you, boy. And then, pretty boy. It's over, Bowers. <laughs> Was that a throat punch? Come here, boy. Here, he did another shot. One more shot. Here, how do you like that? How do you like these apples? <laughs> Uniform makes you feel tough, does it? <laughs> Bowers, how's your left eye doing? Your boyfriend's not around to help you out now. <laughs> Are you fighting or flirting? <laughs> you tell me, Bowers. You tell me. Have another go, Bowers. Have another go. <laughs> Damn! I just slammed his head against an invisible power lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. What? These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, did that on purpose. Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! <laughs> Funny filter. Look like an Instagram bubblehead filter. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. He's always trying to prove himself. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. <clears throat> Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Broad daylight. A crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Hmm, I bet you have nice kidneys. Oh, yeah. Ooh, baby, I love your way. Every day. <laughs> okay. What else you got? You got any pockets? Yeah, there's one. Nope. This one? What you got? Bank of Arcadia. Lots of payments made. Layaway Zalgir. Receipt letter. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Hmm. How do your armpits smell, bro? Can't get taught Latin to smell the armpits right, when you're right. dead. Yes, it's a dead person. <laughs> what about looking at it? I know he's got, you know, 
He bled out the mouth. Anything else? I'm not really seeing anything else. What about... I mean, we know he got shot there. Whatever. Hopefully that's good enough. So he had something on layaway here, right? We should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, Miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss, Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. And you are. Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Galleta. Eyewitness. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> what was that? If you think the witness is lying and you have proof, choose accused to accuse a witness. She isn't really making a whole lot of eye contact with me. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop <laughs> obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Which <laughs> jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Hmm. I'm not sure she's lying anymore. She's not looking away as much. So this Kalu character put five Incorrect. rounds in the back of Mr. Gage because he badmouthed his products? Yes. Something like that. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Why would you lie? Um, you're hoping you get those earrings for free? I feel like... I mean, there's music, so... Aha!
Oh my gosh, his finger is not in the trigger at least. FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Ah, there it is. I knew I, I knew there had to be something else here. Shell casings. These look like 32s. Dead, dead, dead. Yeah, let's go down to the gun store first. Oh, there. Officers, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. Off to the jewelry store. Not too far at all. Get your car off the boat. you in a new watch no officer cole phelps are you edgar kalu uh no uh mr kalu is out back he said he'd lie down i'll buzz him for you no you're kalu let's go son of a bitch go cole go <laughs> you ain't fooling nobody kalu get back here Uh, waitress. I have <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so dumb of me. It had been telling me to aim for the longest time. I'm like, oh, it's telling me to ha <laughs> aim the gun. I guess I better shoot him. for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> the case that makes you, 
in the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle, I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Slim Neeson's dad. <laughs> Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. I kind of hate how it's kind of... You know, trying to teach me how to, you know, how to play as it's going. Because I have to read and listen at the same time. <sighs> I think it's on purpose, though. Let's do... Bad job. So you yeah. shot this guy over the sale of a watch. You think Jewish people are going to continue to take it lying down? Straight in orderly lines to the ovens? Not this heap. I say enough is enough. No more. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Really? That's it? You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy. <laughs> I need a confession. <laughs> I wouldn't have left. I wouldn't have left. <laughs> We're not Has done. My lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. This time I Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. I'm not going to use my int intuition right now. So bad tap was wrong. Still with the cues because I, I mean it was pretty obvious. There's two people. One man said it was his, his gun, and she said it was him who shot the guy. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're you're counting on the girl. You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. Jeez. That Jew-hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Possible religious motive. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. I could play dead top. Ah, 
so much that might be wrong. I'm gonna do it. No. Gage was a Jew hater. Get it off your chest. Gage and his kind are pathetic. <sighs> I've just gotta keep my mouth shut. We're done. Unless you wanna keep making a schmuck of yourself. I'll keep making a schmuck out of myself. I don't wanna get yelled at it dead please. Don't disappoint me, cold folks. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! <laughs> I need a confession! I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know why he keeps leaving. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going, motherfucker! How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe I should do bad top here. You yes. left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm mm. charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. It can be tough, dude. Some people will drive you mad. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. <laughs> Police Academy. Complete all cases on the patrol desk. Prepare for reassignment. All right, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. If you've made it this far, it means a lot. Uh, let me know if you like this editing style. Uh, trying to shorten my gameplay as much as I can. <laughs> it's still 48 minutes long, but I did do two different missions of this game, so. And I have another hour uh, recorded as well, so let me know if you want more. But that's pretty much it for now. So like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and. Hope you have a great rest of your day or night, and see you later maybe. Say hello to the void for me.